need some dry shampoo up in this hair right now. So good morning, everyone. I uh, have had a few sips of coffee, so I'm feeling like myself. And today I just kind of have a busy, worky, getting stuff done at home, organization-y day. And honestly, I feel like these lend themselves really well to vlogging, so I felt like sharing it with y'all. It's also my night to make dinner, and I'm making a HelloFresh dinner, and this video is very kindly sponsored by HelloFresh. We will talk about that later on in the video. Right now I'm sitting down and actually uploading a video. So while that's uploading, I'm gonna sit down and actually make my to-do list for the day, kind of get an idea of what all I need slash want to get done today. This is a day that we have help with Genevieve, so I need to get work things done, but there's also some home projects I desperately need to get done. So we're gonna see how much I can squeeze into these hours I have. So I, this is always just kind of a blueprint and usually it's way more than I actually get done. But then I know when I go to the next day, anything I didn't get done today, I can move on to the next to-do list, you know. But generally I need to get some work stuff done this morning, film and edit in the afternoon and maybe work out somewhere in there and then make dinner because it's my night to make dinner. And then a lot of you guys have recommended watching the show Ted Lasso on Apple TV and it's got Jason Sudeikis who I love. So I really want to start that tonight. But generally just some things I need to get done and actually I have already mailed that item. So that is done and then yeah, we'll see what we get done. Down here if you were curious, this I just try to keep track of how much water I drink and I've already drank one of my water bottles. I'm hoping to do five today. This is my fitness pal trying to keep track of what I'm eating these first few weeks of the year to kind of kickstart my year and then if I work out or not. I'll talk more about this in actually the video I'm editing today, my coffee chat, so you might have already heard me talk about it. So this is the, these are the blueprints for the day. We'll see what actually happens. Yet again, I can't make the bed because this sweet little boy has taken over. Pinocchio, are you being a good beagle boy? So yeah, I'm just taking my morning snoozle. <laughs> Alrighty, so I'm gonna go grab something to eat and then I need to sit down and edit a video. This is one of my favorite times today because I actually weirdly enjoy, I guess it's not that weird, I genuinely enjoy editing videos and so I'm always excited to just like sit down with a snack and a drink and edit the video so I'm like pumped. <laughs> Weirdly pumped. Also, quick note, we got this little rug for like $18 on Amazon. I think it's like size three by five, three feet by five feet, but we've been kind of adjusting her room and taking some of her baby stuff out of here that she doesn't need anymore. But this poor carpet has seen better days no matter what we do to it. So we were like, we need to put some kind of rug. Honestly, I should have measured because it's a little smaller, but we used to have a giant rug in here and it was too much. It was way too much, but it's so soft. And I'm wondering now if it's washable because it's so like pliable, you know what I mean? And I figure for 18 bucks, if she ends up like spilling stuff on it or whatever, if it lasts like even a year, I'll be happy. It came in like the tiniest box and we were not sure. We were like, there's no way this is the rug, but it was. <laughs> so one of my favorite like quick breakfasts is having my favorite yogurt, which is the Dan and Light and Fit. I don't know, man. And then also having an English muffin with some butter. These are these 100 calorie ones from Thomas's. I love them. I always have them on hand because I eat them a couple times a week. I feel like there are just certain things I talk about all the time, like the English muffins and stuff, but I'm like, I just love them so much. Like, that's just me genuinely sharing with you guys. I eat those every single week. <laughs> I love them so much. I mean, obviously the butter is a must. I know a lot of people like like peanut butter on it though. I love peanut butter, but I don't know, like with toast and things like toast, like an English muffin, butter is just like, Chef's kiss, the way to go. We got a new coffee pot because we our regular coffee pot 
we, it was only eight cup capacity and it just was not enough because with the two of us, our coffee cups are usually bigger. So we were going through that entire pot like after each of us had like a cup and a half. You know what I mean, like a mug and a half. So we found this one from Breville, which we've had really good experience with things from this brand in the past. This is a 12 cup pot from Breville and I am really liking it. So it will actually grind your beans for you up here in this like little hopper and then you choose how many cups you want. You can make single cups, you can make you know, to-go cups, you can make a full pot, which is what we're basically using it for. You can change the strength, you can change how coarse or fine do you want the beans to be ground, and you guys, it makes such good coffee. It is crazy pricey, but we really hadn't invested in a coffee pot like this, and we know we're gonna use the crap out of it, so I am quite content. The reviews on this are a little mixed, though, saying that over time this can get a little messed up if you don't keep up with like kind of cleaning it out so we'll see we've only had it a little while so so far so good By the way, I don't know if I had mentioned yet, I got a couple new things for my little office area. I got most of this at Target. Like this, I think is the coolest thing in the world. It looks like a basket, but it's actually like hard. So it's gonna last literally forever. This is a fake plant because honestly, I, my husband has the green thumb, I do not. And a little plant stand. And then we also got a shelf. I'm not sure yet what I wanna do with this. I don't love this at all. I need to get a picture for this if I keep it. And then these, I haven't even detagged because I, I don't think I like these in this pot. I think I want something taller. So those might go back to Target. Uh, but I also got this new pillow, which I just love this color. So it's coming together. I wanna change that vase out and move things around. Like I said, it's just, I feel like this area is always a work in progress, but I really, really like this floating shelf and I feel like it matches the like dresser storage area I have really, really well. So that part I'm really happy about and the plant I'm really happy about. Everything else is gonna be adjusted, I guess. And there he is in all his glory. All right, so I just came in my bathroom because I desperately need to reorganize this mess here. I figured I'd share it with y'all. Sometimes I do this separately in a video, so if you wanna see some of my other like vanity tour declutter things, I will link, I think I have an entire playlist, so if you wanna watch more of these that are just kind of more devoted to it, but this will be a little bit quicker. I just wanna see what is it that I'm reaching for all the time, what am I not, what am I kind of tired of right now, swap some things out, I'll also take you guys to my makeup collection so we can pick some new things out to put in here. Okay, so looking in here, some of the things I know I'm reaching for all the time is my L'Oreal Age Perfect Radiant Serum Foundation, some of the products I use every day, these liners. Actually, I need to replace this because this is empty. So getting, I need to get a new liner for sure. So I'm just gonna make a little pile of stuff I know I'm keeping here and then a pile of stuff that's going elsewhere. So I'll use this for things I am taking to the other room. I'm gonna keep the e.l.f. Stay All Night Microfine Setting Mist. I've really been enjoying this lately. It's just a nice setting mist that actually like takes the powdery look away from my face. So definitely keeping that, definitely keeping my Bare Minerals Neutral Palette, one of my absolute favorites. This is totally broken, so I still need to repress that, so I'm gonna put that to the side over here. It's making a mess on everything. Okay, so my Lumi Bronze It, I do need to buy a new one. I'm, I mean, I definitely have some more to use, but eventually I will get a new one once I've used that up, but I'm gonna go ahead and keep it because I love it. Some of these things can go back for a little while, honestly. Some of these I just, I reach for so often and I need to force myself to use other things, you know? It's crazy expensive and I'm really, really enjoying it, so I definitely, I honestly, it was buried in there. I didn't even realize I had it in here, so gonna keep that one out. I need to give some of these a break. Uh. So one thing I haven't talked about a lot on my channel is the Rare Beauty blush. And I'm realizing I keep reaching for other blushes that I have that are cream, that are in a like pressed format, like in a pan. 
because I find that it's just easier to dip my brush into this than taking this and dabbing it on, then getting the brush or putting it on the back of my hand. Like there's a lot of different ways you can apply this, but I just find myself reaching for these more because it's easier. So I do need to give this still more of a try though, so I might keep it in here, but I do know Rare Beauty just launched like cream blushes like in more of this similar format. And so I'm like, maybe I'll try those. I wonder if I'll like them more. Not that I really need them right now because I've got three cream blushes I like right here. The Honest Beauty, the Milani, and the Tower 28. This brow pencil got totally broken. It got caught in the drawer and it like slammed and broke it in a million places. It's the LA Girl one that I love, but it needs to go in the literal trash. So this container I got from Amazon, it's a really good sized container. I'll see if I can find it. I feel like I struggled to actually find the exact one, but I'll, I've gotta be able to find it in my orders, right? So let's take all this to my makeup storage. All right, so I'm here at my little makeup storage. I just made a double, actually it's not a double espresso, it's a Lungo, so it's like espresso, but more. <laughs> but it's not, I don't know, I don't know what it is, guys. Cause I'm just feeling that like afternoon lull. So we're gonna put some of this away and get some stuff out. I just feel like I need to breathe some life into this collection. I've been using the same products for good reason. I love them. Like so much but I'm like I really need to try using some other things that I also know that I like but that just I just keep pushing to the side but also keeping in mind that at least half of the week I'm doing quick five minute makeup so making sure I still have products that I love grabbing for that are really fast but then also still having the ones that I that are fun to play with on the other day so that's the name of the game baby cheers So we've got things from there. I'm gonna take this and the other things, put them all together. I have too many blushes, I can tell you right now, just kind of looking at this spread. So some things will still go back. I feel like I have a lot more higher end stuff than drugstore this time, really because I've been so leaning and heavy to my drugstore favorites that I feel like a lot of the things I spent a lot of money on were just kind of sitting there. I'm like, okay, so I need to give some other things some love. Again, still products I love, I just haven't been using. Okay, so we are done here, I think. I love, it's kind of funny, I was like, gosh, why do I have so many base products? But I'm like, you know what? That's my favorite thing. Like if I were only putting one thing on my face, it would be some kind of slight bit of coverage. So I don't mind that I have like five different options. So one of my favorites, and I honestly hadn't used in so long, is this Wet n Wild Dewy Foundation. It's one of my favorites. So. Definitely excited to have that in there. Some other things I added in. Now I have the Charlotte Tilbury Bronzer and Charlotte Tilbury Highlight. I actually took out my L'Oreal Lumi one, so we'll see how long that lasts, because that's my favorite. Threw in some different powders I haven't used in a while. A highlight I haven't used in a little bit from Laura Mercier. This is such a nice, if I can open it with one hand. This is such a nice kind of lighter highlight that's not too punchy. If that makes sense. Let's see, that looks like crazy punchy, but it's such a beautiful highlighter. This is their matte radiance baked powder highlight. An oldie but a goodie, my Dallas blush from Benefit. This is one I've loved for years. This is not the original one I had because that one would be so, so old by now. And it has this slight scent that is so nostalgic now to me. So uh, brought in my Going Coconuts palette from ColourPop. It's one of my favorites. I haven't used it in a few months. Looks like that. And then uh, a NARS palette that they no longer make. I think it's called Skin Deep or yeah, their Skin Deep palette. Um, the I'm almost out of actually the SPF you saw me putting on earlier in this video is from can make I love this I literally have like one or two days use left in this so to replace it next I have my super goop glow screen because I'm trying to 
all of the SPFs I have open, I'm trying to work through every single one because I don't want them to go bad. So I really, really like this too, but truly the can make is so similar. The glow screen definitely has more glow to it, but it's similar and uh, the can make is of course much cheaper. I have a few other things I'm still trying out like that nude six concealer and other things I just reach for all the time. I feel really good about this. So looking at my little to-do list I made this morning, we've really, I've done pretty much everything. I, I've, well, I guess I filmed most of this vlog. I still have a little bit of ways to go. I'm still gonna work out here in a second. I, the only thing I was hoping I'd get done, but I just ran out of time, was to wash my makeup brushes. <laughs> That's the thing I always push to the back burner, like, basically every day of my life. So, yeah, uh, generally, I got a lot done, which I'm feeling really good about. I've drank a lot of water, too. So, I'm actually going to go pick up my toddler from her Nana's house. She had some time with her cousin, who's a year or two older than her, and they, it's just so cute, and her Nana's been sending pictures, and it's just, like, making my heart so happy, because they're having so much fun. But I'm gonna go pick her up and then when I get back, I'm gonna try to work out really fast Usually I can get my workout done before we get her like kind of sandwiched at the very end of my work day But it just didn't work out that way, which is fine because we got a lot done today. It's a good feeling Well, it's a different day <laughs> The beauty of life with a toddler, you never know how the rest of your day or evening will go. And that night I was filming, it just was not conducive to filming. So here we are, different day, picking up where we left off. It's just about dinner time. I also still do want to work out. So I might go ahead and get dinner going and then try to work out in between because while he is going to pick her up, it's a really great time to try to get dinner done and work out. We're gonna see how it all breaks down. All right, it is time to get dinner popping. As I mentioned, this portion of the video is very kindly sponsored by HelloFresh. We've been using HelloFresh for years, and if you've never heard of it, it is a meal delivery service where you can get meals delivered to your door. You get recipe cards with them that are so incredibly easy to follow. I love that the packaging they use to send your food is made of recyclable or already recycled content. And the best part is, in my opinion, that most of the meals that you're gonna make take around 30 minutes, and they also have quick recipe options that take only 20 minutes, which actually the meal we're making tonight is a 20 minute recipe. So it is super quick and easy, and with HelloFresh, produce gets to you faster than a grocery store, so it's arriving at peak freshness and flavor. And I love that you can change your delivery days, your food preferences, all online on their site. It is so easy. You can skip a week whenever you need to. Tonight's dinner is chicken sausage rigatoni. It's got bell pepper, it's got parmesan, and this creamy pink sauce it looks so good and anything I've made with their Italian chicken sausage has been so delicious so I'm excited to try this tonight so if you're interested in checking out HelloFresh just go to hellofresh.com and use code 10 j brawn to get 10 free meals including free shipping that is an amazing deal this is something we've given as gifts to people in our lives as well and they have loved it just as much as we do I know you guys are gonna love it too okay moment of truth this looks so good I have to to admit I've already taken some bites of this while I was cooking it because honestly it smelled and looked so good so cheers this is so good you guys the sauce with the chicken sausage and everything is just literally chef's kiss it's so so delicious mm. few things one I got chocolate on my shirt <laughs> I can't even hide that I was eating some Reese's. Anyway, uh, second of all, like I told you earlier, this is a couple days after the first big chunk of the vlog, and we did end up starting Ted Lasso, and we've been binging it, and we're almost done. And you guys, if you have Apple TV, Ted Lasso is so good. It one is- One of the greatest shows on television we've ever watched. Yeah, Tyler just said it's one of the greatest shows on television. I agree. It's like 30 minute episodes, and it's hilarious but it is also so redonkulously heartwarming and like we have sobbed. Well, I have, I don't think he has. Oh, yeah. uh, do you, have you teared up? Oh, every episode. Right, I, it, it's, guys, it is the perfect show. <laughs> it's the perfect show, it's got it all. So uh, if you have Apple TV, totally worth it. And as I always say, if you do get Apple TV, you should also watch The Morning Show, wow. And then Central Park, if you like, like Bob's Burgers, it's the same creators and similar. So I, at the store, bought some new games. <laughs> So we love Bananagrams, we love Phase 10, and I was like, we need some new two people games. So a lot of you guys recommended, well, a ton. And so the two I bought were Quiddler, which is like a word card game, and then Five Crowns, which is like rummy style, but it has five suits. And so I'm kind of leaning towards Quiddler tonight. We just got like the news on, and I was, we figure we'll just watch that and learn a new game because honestly, I cannot like 
watch a show that I need to watch watch and play a game. It needs to be something that I'm just kind of like meh about, you know what I mean? Anyway, so that is what we're gonna do. That's gonna round out our night. We'll have to let you know in the future how these games are. I gotta learn how to play it. They said there's like a video you can watch online, but where's like the instructions? Oh, there they are. I was like, Tyler, it didn't even come with instructions. It did, it did. It is nice, man. When I was a kid, I wished games had like a way to just scan something and watch a video on it because this would have been quite daunting. But anyway, thank you guys for watching this vlog. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.